Tight spot for a grave plot. <laughs> and a warp. Which I want to get for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It is a warp. I'm going to save. They're going to save to a percentage. 48%. Right. The game slows down as it gets harder and more roaming. Yeah. Invulnerable ghosts. I can't hurt the ghosts because they are actually, in fact, go oh, ghosts. Wow. I wanted to jump up there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah! I wanted that. Is that a key? Yep. Cool. Ah. <laughs> I hate it. I hate those things. It's a roast. Now, these ones you can be afraid of because they are actually just genuine ghosts. Yep. Okay. Oh. I would like a roast. Go make one. That takes like hours. Well, we gotta get started. I need my third key. I think it's just that other hole that I was just moving too fast by. Could you not touch me? Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay. Yay. See, this one uh, didn't show, like, the key, the door. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's weirdly inconsistent. Told you. Told you. Platforming. Woo. And an urn. More platforming. Another urn. And then a th that. And a Scooby Snack. Wow, they actually have S's on them. Yeah, it's a good thing. Ruby Rex. Door is locked. That's one of those doors that's that can be very easy to miss just because of its positioning. Ow. <laughs> What did that do? I don't know. Oh. I have to do that. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Damn, a roster token. That, that's what I thought he said. <laughs> Is it open on the left or am I tripping? Um, Didn't try it. I was right. It's one of those things that just needs a slightly better cam or a slightly adjustable camera. Yeah, this game is definitely like, oh, we're gonna use the camera like against you. <laughs> and in some ways, it can be good. Yeah, Crash usually does it fine, um, but not always. Do you, do you legitimately just have to? <laughs> just gotta, oh. Wow, don't the door! Fall, don't make me fall. It made me fall. Fuck! I was mid air when that fucking cutscene happened. No, no, no. I like that you're just barely on it, the, like the slidey block, and there is enough room for you. Like, I hate it when uh, platformers will just, like, push you off when, you know, they shouldn't. It's like, oh, come on, there's enough room. Yeah, it really just comes down to a difference between, like, the developers being, like, okay with you freeforming and not okay with you freeforming. Yeah. Well, I got two of them. There we go. One way trip to the crypt. Tales. So I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel recently. Green Ghost. I've been playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel recently, and uh, I've decided Yu-Gi-Oh! is fun when you're not playing Tier 1. Play like 3 and below. Don't play good stuff. Good stuff is just a little less fun, in my opinion. Yeah. It's fun if everyone's playing at low, lower caliber. 
Because then you're just not usually as stomped off the table as you can get. Uh, well, recently they had a, a player cup start, and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll play on that. And the deck I've been messing with recently is uh, Skull Servant. Now, you, if you recall, Skull Servant is a, like, joke card of just, like, a really bad card. Yeah. That's, like, the whole bit with him is he's just bad. But, That's an um, old card, too. Old card. Legend of Blue Eyes. First set. Well, first Legend expansion. Yeah. But anyway. Um, well, the, the, the whole gimmick of that deck is there's a card called King of the Skull Servants who gains a thousand power for every Skull Servant in the grave. And then there's a bunch of other cards that count as Skull Servant in the grave. Oh. And they're very good at just dumping themselves to the grave. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to play this in, in ranked, in like mega ranked. And I just accept the fact that if I play against a top tier deck, I'm just probably going to lose. Like, you just have to accept that when you're playing bad decks. And just yeah. go, yeah, I'm just not going to win. And that's okay. Uh, well, last night I had a hell of a game against a guy who's playing, we'll call it Math Mech, because it was Math Mech. And I can also tell you he's bad, because he wasn't <laughs> reading the cards. He was one of the guys who were just was he's like, just this like, is a deck this online. This is a meta deck. I'm going to build it on the game, and I'm going to win with it, because I'm going to look up the combos, and I'm going to go through the flowchart. Easy peasy. Well, he went first, and he made an okay board. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! as a game is not very... Like, it's back and forth, but it's not back and forth over turns. It's back and forth over just a couple turns. Yeah. There's a lot of back and forth in just those couple turns. Um, which some people like, some people don't like. I, I, it's fine. It's, it's an argument as old as time. But um, he he made a board and it was a little threatening. He had a couple negates. He popped out a thing, and I was like, okay, he's doing stuff. He's you know he's he's making a threatening board. He's making me have to like worry about what he's doing. Uh, but I baited out both of his negates with nothing. Uh, well, not with nothing, nothing, but like nothing with. Nothing of value. Yeah. And I was able to out his board, make a very similar thing that he made. And then he tried to... I, I stole his card in the grave, then used it to make my own thing. And that thing in particular protects whatever uses it as a resource, like, to make a big bigger dude. Yeah. It protects that big dude. It gives him a protection effect, which is really good. Well, he didn't realize that, even though it was his card he used against me. Yeah. And he tried to destroy it somehow. Couldn't. And then just had to run into it with his own card. And then I was able to just murder him afterwards. Because <laughs> King of the Skull Servants is good at just getting big dude out quick. Uh, with no protection. And it's not consistent. Because you have to play 15 cards that don't do anything. Not 15, but a lot. Yeah. But uh, it worked way better than it should have. 600. Jesus. Told you, we run out of these quick. But um, it was a hell of a turnaround. Uh, it went to turn 4, which was wild. Uh, but it was, a, it, was, it was a really good game. I was popping off. I was like, I'm gonna fucking die and lose really hard. But I didn't. Oops. Church. No. Stupid Twitter and it's autoplay. Tweeting. Use my head. Bonk. Bonk. Ow. There we go. School. Where am I going? I think I'm going back across. Ah. Alright, there it is. We did it, Scoob. It's a witch! Oh. 
Or is it just open? I thought it'd be a new room. Oh, there's the new room. That's weird. Gloom doom down the tomb. have much of an IP. Alright, so the reason why I opened up Twitter is because I gave the Space Bagels Twitter to my friend Kat and uh -huh. was like, hey, post things. Like, you know, just do anything. Uh -huh. Don't post porn. Just do don't anything post else. Post porn or anything kind of cancel-y. Yeah, don't, don't cancel us. And she posted a picture of a bagel. That works. It looks like this. I'm hungry as fuck right now. <laughs> that bagel looks delicious. She's like, she texted me. She's like, I posted. Tell me if it's bad. Tell me when I'm fired. <laughs> That's a good bagel. I'm hungry now. I need to get lunch. How's it go? So you may have noticed that I can't deal with the ghosts at all. Yeah. Well, there's a tool I get later that actually does let me deal with them. Is it the book from the last game we played? I wish it was the Necronomicon. But no, it's bubble gum. Oh. It lets you put ghosts in bubbles? It stickies them, and then they become corporeal because they're sticky. I don't think that's how it works. Well, do you know? Well, you see, they're not corporeal. They're, yeah, they're incorporeal. Yes. Which is why we use the gun to make him corporeal. All right. See what your problem is. That that makes me think of the sleepy cabin episode. Oh. Um, there we go. Corporeal cream. Raphne. <laughs> Rip. Fucking dingus. It ball, worked. Ball sound effect. Not getting better. <laughs> we are children. In, in the wrong context. Uh, really bad. I wonder if Zone is taking that clip for anything. I don't think so. I do find the videos where, like, the, the ones that they uploaded to YouTube where they do take the out of context clip and um, edit it. Hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's the final villain of the of the game that came out after this one. Or for us, the last game we played. Well, last full game we played. There we go. There we did damage. I love boss themes. Like, I know th 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 this is so Scooby Doo. No, nah, it's, it's it's good flavor. It's good, it's I good wish good um, Mystery Mayhem had yeah. charm. <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel all that Scooby Doo, did it? It was like Luigi's Mansion, but not good. <laughs> yeah, I'm running out of health. This boss is hard. This. Actually, looks like a, a boss. Yeah. Unlike Mystery Mayhem, where it was hold book. Oh, 
God dang it. I need to stay low for that, I think. There we go. That's one hit. Can I grab this? There's also these little, those little plants, which You can't suck. do anything with? Shit. There's a health over here right now. Ocean. It's just a song about the green ghost. Yeah. It's just literally just a song about like what's happening right now. There we go. And I'm guessing you gotta do that three I've got times. One health and a dream. Get out of here. It was I... like Ghostbusters. <laughs> just <laughs> pose. <laughs> ah, I don't like the face. So many roads around here. A lot of roasts. Were you shot with fireballs? My ass. The green ghost wasn't really a ghost. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see you fighting him. No. Granted, she was much more useful than Velma was. That's right, Velma was there. He's a rich. <laughs> what? I don't know, these cutscenes, just like, the, the not the greatest models doing things is funny to me. Who the <laughs> fuck is that? Uh, some plot lady. Who's also voiced by Daphne. Yeah. We have the umbrella. Yay. I like this song. I'm going to see if I can like... I'm ready for the rave. I'm gonna see if I can get just like the MP3 of that. I love it. That's gonna be my ringtone. 